<laughs> welcome and welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about how straight your arms should be or they shouldn't be in the context of a two-arm swing. How's that make you feel? Uh, there's a reason for this video. Okay, let's have we, it. We get a lot of questions about this. Uh, sometimes we even get some dum-dums on the internet who are like, you're doing a T-Rex swing where there's a little bit of a, an elbow bend. Sometimes I'll get it, sometimes he'll get it. Sometimes some of our students should get it. So let's, uh, or some of our students do get it. Let's, let's talk about what a slight elbow bend is. First of all, when you look at the manuals, let's take strong first, We've never taken RKC, any of the other ones, but I assume they're similar. They say a slight elbow bend is acceptable. Agreed. Now, that's not usually quantified, you know, X amount of degrees, usually depends on the situation. We're going to give you a situation where it may or may not make sense. A swing with a slight elbow bend is not a T-Rex swing. A T-Rex swing is a swing done with the elbows connected to the side, usually for a particular reason or sometimes just because you don't know any better. So to be clear, we teach arms as straight as they can be. The operative part of that though is as they can be. Yeah. Now, if we look, let's go ahead and face the camera. We'll do okay. some synchronized right. demoing. Okay, I like this. Okay, so this is where my arms live. Okay, they're at the end of my shoulders. You probably keep yours the same. Mine are the same. Okay, yeah. they're there. Now, a kettlebell handle, all of them keep my hands right next to each other. Now, question is, how comfortable is this to you? All day. Okay, so I got a lot of tension through here. I got a meaty chest. It is difficult for me to bring my hands this close together. If I relax, they immediately pop out. When I'm doing a heavy set, it's a lot more comfortable for me to put a slight bend in my elbows just because of the way I'm built. I've got wide shoulders, I've got pecs that get in the way. Now, for my hands to go from here to here, I can do a few different things. I can internally rotate. The, the tension in my chest is gone. It's I don't like a feel seal. <laughs> I don't feel any tension in my chest anymore, but you can also see my arms are stuck way forward. Even cool. in this position, if my arms are forward, the tension in my chest is gone, right? Oh, man, that's not good. <laughs> but I want to keep my arms connected to my body, and as soon as I bring my arms from here to there, you can see my hands want to separate. This is not a comfortable position for me. A slight elbow bend to here alleviates all the tension in my chest. I have no problem. And this is, this is very, very minimal. Slight. It's very minimal. Um, it alleviates all the tension in my chest. Something else to consider, if you're doing heavy swings over uh, a long period, which is something I was doing just recently, this, this, uh, someone actually asked a very, uh, very straight forward, hey, what's the deal with this elbow, thin, uh, elbow bend thing? Uh, great question. That's one of the reasons why we're doing this post. When I was doing these, these swings, um, it was a little more comfortable for me to keep that elbow bend. You know, the, the, longer, the longer your arm gets, the farther that, or the, the more that bell has to travel through an arc, the harder it's gonna be. You run some risks, and sometimes a slight elbow bend keeps you a little bit safer. It allows you to do the work uh, that you really wanna do long-term. So, do we like a straight arm? Absolutely, we do. Um, we don't train it almost at all in the one-arm swing. I mean, because um, typically there's, you can there's get no, straight. There's no reason. There's no reason for it to bend if there's no Your reason. Your chest ain't getting in the way of this. No, it's not. Now, it will keep keep me, uh, it will limit where my arm can contact my body, but that's, that's another video. That's another video. Another video. It'll be right up here. So, <laughs> the take home point is if you can't comfortably handle the position without a kettlebell, you're not going to be able to handle the position comfortably with a kettlebell. So, go, we, we, keep, we keep talking about this in these videos. Rehearse. Spend some time and see how your pieces work uh, in a given context and just realize that if I take the directives of a bad coach, if you tell me my arm needs to be straight no matter what, you are a bad coach, we can talk Shame. about that, um, you're, going to, you're probably going to cause an injury because you want my arms here, I'm going to hyperextend my elbows, I'm going to cause a wrist problem, maybe I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jack my neck, something's going to happen yeah. because you're telling me I need to be here and I can't get here. So. Spend some time, figure out if you're comfortable in the position, um, and don't take bad advice. There you go. It's pretty simple. Do what feels good. Right? Sure. All well, right. That can, that, that can get you in trouble sometimes. It can. But in this context, you'll probably be all right. Stay strong and uh, download our app. Please. Yeah, it's free, and we would enjoy your feedback on it. All right. I already said stay strong. You did. What do we do now? Stay stronger.